Coming out of high school, Jacob Eason had it all. He was one of the top quarterbacks in his recruiting class and was being labeled the quote-unquote savior of Georgia football. But where did it all go wrong? This is Who Is Jacob Eason? If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I release football related content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, leave a comment letting me know who you want to see in future videos. This week, I will also be doing videos on Jamie Newman and Sam Howell. Jacob Eason was born on November 17, 1997. His father, Tony Eason, played football at Notre Dame and later became the wide receivers coach for Eason's high school. When Tony realized the talent Jacob had at a young age, he studied a bunch of film and tried to figure out how he could help his son. Jacob Eason grew up in Lake Stevens, Washington, which is about an hour away from Seattle. During Eason's freshman season, he played in four games throwing for 458 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception. His coach realized how much talent Eason had in those four games, and going into Eason's sophomore year, the coach changed the whole offense to more of an RPO-style offense to fit his player. During Eason's sophomore year, he played in 10 games where he threw for 2,941 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. Eason started to receive Division I attention halfway through the season. Schools like Arkansas, Alabama, Vanderbilt, Georgia, Mississippi State, Florida, Florida State, and every Pac-12 school started to visit Eason. Eason received his first offer from Oregon State, which was then followed by an offer from Cal. Eason and his family decided to fly to Atlanta and rent a car before his junior year. They toured Alabama, Florida State, and Georgia. On July 19th, Eason committed to Georgia. During Eason's junior year, he led Lake Stevens to a 9-2 record. Eason threw for 2,829 passing yards, 32 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. Eason was named the Rivals Junior of the Year and competed and named the Elite 11 before his senior year. During Eason's senior season, he played in 13 games. In those 13 games, he threw for 3,585 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, and an additional 4 touchdowns on the ground. Eason led Lake Stevens to a 12-1 record and to the semifinals of the State 4A playoffs. Eason was named the Gatorade Player of the Year, USA Today All-USA, Offensive Player of the Year, and First Team All-USA. He was also named the Everett Herald All-Area Offensive MVP and Everett Herald Man of the Year for all of men's sports. Eason played in the 2016 Army All-American Bowl where he completed 6 of his 13 passes for 71 yards and 1 interception. In his high school career, Eason threw for 9,813 passing yards, 102 touchdowns, and 18 interceptions. According to 24-7 Sports, Eason was a 5-star recruit who was the best player in Washington, 2nd best quarterback in the nation, and 4th best player in the nation. Even though Eason committed to Georgia his sophomore year, he had over 16 different offers. Eason would visit Florida, Georgia, and Washington before he officially signed and enrolled in Georgia. Going into his freshman year, many had the expectations that Jacob Eason was going to be the next Matthew Stafford. Eason made his first career start at Georgia during his true freshman year in 2016. Eason threw for 204 yards, a touchdown, and an interception while completing 11 of his 20 passes against Nichols. Eason became the sixth true freshman in Georgia history to start a game. Eason completed 29 of his 55 pass attempts for 308 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception against Missouri. On a fourth and 10, Eason would throw the game-winning touchdown to Isaiah McKenzie with one minute and 29 seconds left in the game. Eason would lead his second fourth quarter winning drive against Kentucky. During his freshman year, Eason threw for 2,430 passing yards, which is fourth most by a freshman in Georgia, 16 touchdowns and 8 interceptions while completing 204 of his 370 pass attempts. Georgia went on to win the Liberty Bowl over TCU that season. Going into Eason's sophomore year, he seemed ready to explode onto the scene and lead a very talented Georgia team to a very successful season. That all came crashing down when Eason left the first game of the season with an injury on the third possession of the game. The Georgia season seemed doomed when Eason went down, for about a quarter. True freshman Jacob Fromm would come in to relieve the injured Eason. Fromm was a former four-star recruit who had starred in the season one of QB1 Beyond the Lights with Tate Martell and Tavon Bowers. Fromm took over the starting quarterback duties and never gave Eason a chance to win back the job. Fromm led Georgia to an SEC championship and what looked like a national title until Tua Tungavailoa came in and crushed the hearts of all Georgia fans. With the writing on the wall at Georgia, Eason decided he had to enter the transfer portal. Eason decided to return home and play at Washington University in Seattle, Washington. Due to transfer rules, Eason had to sit out the 2018 football season in which he would redshirt. 
The former Gatorade Player of the Year won the Bob Jarvis Offensive Scout Squad MVP at Washington's postseason award banquet. Jake Browning led Washington to a 10-4 season where they would lose the Rose Bowl to Ohio State. The next season, expectations were high for Washington. They were ranked 13th in the preseason polls and had a former 5-star hometown hero leading the charge. Eason did not disappoint in his debut throwing for 349 passing yards and 4 touchdowns. Against BYU, Eason completed 24 of his 28 passes for 290 yards and 3 touchdowns. When Washington played number 9 ranked Utah, Eason completed 29 of his 52 passes for 316 passing yards, 4 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions. In Washington's bowl game against Boise State, Eason completed 22 of his 32 passes for 210 yards and 1 touchdown to win the Las Vegas Bowl. During Eason's redshirt junior season, he finished with 3,132 passing yards, which ranked 4th all-time in a single season at Washington, 23 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. Eason decided to forego his senior season and enter the 2020 NFL Draft. In his career, Eason played in 29 games, starting 26 of them between both Georgia and Washington. He completed 468 of his 782 passes, a 59.8% completion percentage, 5,590 yards, 39 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. Going into the 2020 NFL Draft, Eason measured to be 6'6 and 231 pounds. He ran a 4.8940, a 7.53 cone drill, and a 4.75 20-yard shuttle. He also jumped 27.5 inches in the vertical jump and 110 inches in the broad jump. Many projected Eason to be a second round pick and compared him to a mix between Carson Palmer and Brock Osweiler. Many believed he needed time to develop because he only started two years in college. Eason's draft stock crashed and he was drafted by the Indianapolis Colts in the fourth round as a 122nd overall draft pick. During the draft process, some had questions around Eason's work ethic and his accountability. With the Colts, Eason will get to sit at least one year behind Phillip Rivers and Jacoby Brissett who both have one year left on their contract. Many believe the Colts are in a situation where, in a year from now, if Eason develops, he will be given the starting role, and if he doesn't, they may just move on. Eason's career has been a roller coaster, and it will be interesting to see what he does next in this next chapter. If you like this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and remember to embrace the grind.